Alright, so tonight we're working on a uh, washing machine. This is a Samsung uh, P801, which was uh, purchased by my parents in 2006. So it's uh, 13 to 14 years old now. And we're getting an error code E2. And looking that up online, it means that the uh, drainage system isn't working. And that's accurate. So this thing shut down and there was water up to about here in it. Which is a bit of a problem because uh, it's very heavy, can't get rid of it. So what you do is uh, I unplugged it and pulled off the uh, the bottom cover here. And while looking at it, there's a, a drain here and a filter. So I'm hoping that I can take the uh, filter out of here once uh, the water is drained and uh, get some more life out of this machine. It's been very good. Yeah, I've actually seen a number of these at the garbage dump when I'm going to drop stuff off, but this one's been a one of the good ones, can't complain. I've seen it sold under various different names. Uh, but Samsung is the model or brand that we've got. <clears throat> so I'm just going to tilt this back. So to drain it, I just used the uh, quarter inch uh, barb coupler. Some clear quarter inch line to uh, drain it into the uh, utility room here. So there's a, a drain by the hot water tank there for draining the hot water tank and for draining the uh, humidifier return. So it seemed like a good spot to do that. I'm just kind of getting ready to sell the house here. You'll see that my videos are filmed all over the place because they're kind of a mobile family at the moment. But this is our home. And we'll see if we can get this thing to work out. So I'm just going to tilt it back now and put this paint tray underneath of it because there's not really a good way of getting all the water out. So I have to be careful doing this. I'm going to drop some stuff out the back. Have to walk it around a bit. As you can see better than me, I need to go quite a bit. We've got these machines stacked on each other, which has been pretty good. Because So, hopefully that's in focus. It helped to open the door to do some draining. Once the water level was down below the door, obviously. Alright, so there's a bit of stuff in here, but nothing too surprising actually. That might be the pump right there. There's a hair clip in the way. That seems like a belt driven pump or something right there. You can kind of feel it moving. Hopefully that hair clip was uh, jamming it. I don't see anything else in there. So I'll just uh, turn this off, put it back together and we'll give it a run. Alright, so I got the uh, filter back in. I didn't see a real filter in there to be honest. I don't know if that's been missing for some period of time or what. And then uh, plug the uh, emergency drain there. So let's see if we can turn this on and get anywhere. So I'm just going to do a, uh, a rinse. And spin. See what we can do here. Just gonna close the door. All right, so I'm just gonna let this uh, fill up, and we'll get into the uh, spin cycle, and we'll see uh, if we can get that code back or for uh, progressing. Well, we had success. A bobby pin was what was plugging up the uh, pump. You hear the water coming out. This uh, unit is actually plumb for uh, the gas dryer. We haven't got one set up here. 
So anyway, that's a success. So it was a, an easy win for sure. Didn't need to bring anybody to the house to try to figure it out. So while that's doing its thing, I guess I'll mention one thing that we did in the basement here that I'm pretty happy with. So here we have a, a subfloor made out of chipboard. I think they're like 20 by 20 squares. They're tongue and groove and they all lock together. And uh, there's a couple reasons I did that. For one, it's a, a basement, obviously, that we're down here. And I uh, wanted to have something kind of somewhat finished. And this was uh, relatively inexpensive. We just put some varnish on top of it. But uh, if you have any dampness on the floor, this gives you a bit of protection so you're raised up off the uh, concrete. So I don't know if there's any vapor barrier underneath of the concrete if this house is a fairly old home. So uh, you get that protection so you can have things down here and not worry about any damp smell or mildew or anything. But it also makes the basement a lot warmer. So uh, when I put this in, I realized, noticed right away that it wasn't a cold basement anymore. And another thing that I did uh, to improve airflow at the same time was that I put a cold air return into the furnace here as close to the floor as possible essentially. So there's a six inch uh, round uh, duct there so it draws the cold air off the floor into the furnace. And then I've got the uh, a number of vents in the various parts of the house. So this worked out pretty good. And uh, like I said, so there's uh, this laundry room down here in the basement. And there's another laundry room on the second floor that we don't use. So these machines are just stacked here. And uh, things are working away. So hopefully you find this useful. Thank you for watching.